I'm looking for the best Syria center mid. Are you it, Allen? 6K for sentiment, is he worth it? Yeah. High yeah. defensive work rates, you know he yeah. be worth yeah. it. Yeah. Four star skills, he Brazilian, he be skilling. Yeah. Should you buy him for your team? I tell you how I'm feeling. A yeah. strong Lincoln Mertens, that's a whole fact. fact. Shout out to Raul, his thumbnails looking like a snack. If you like the tiki taka build up from the back, then maybe this Allen is what you lack. Fact. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, no matter what time it is of day, I hope you're having a great day. It is your boy, One Star Week, and we are back for another FIFA 20 player review. And today we're going to review a player that many may be regarding as the best center mid, center defensive mid option in the Serie A. And it's going to be none other than this 85 rated Allen card. And every year this guy is pretty much the cheap Conte. This year they've given him an upgrade. I mean, when you look at his stats... He's no longer going to be limited to a Conte role. He looks very well-rounded. He looks like a very good box-to-box -box center mid or maybe a more attacking center defensive mid. So he's 5'9". He has medium-high work rates. He's right-footed. He has a 3-star weak foot, but he has 4-star skill moves, which is massive for a center mid. I played a bunch of games and rivals with him, and as you see here, he has a decent contribution. He has 4 goals and 1 assist. Before we go any further, though, if you're enjoying the content, if you want to see more player reviews... Please don't forget to hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all you guys for watching right now. I really do, man. We're about to hit 2,000 subs. And that's massive because I never thought I'd even hit 1,000. So 2,000 is twice as good. So I'm really happy about that. Without further ado, let's look at this card a little bit closer. So he has 75 pace. Um, I did apply or I didn't actually apply. Um, it just came with a Catalyst Chem Style when I bought this card. So... Um, he does have 75 pace. Um, the Catalyst Chem Style makes it maybe 79 pace, 80 pace. Either way, his pace looks decent. His shooting stats are the big upgrade, I think, from last year. Last year, I don't think he could shoot. This year, I mean, 74 finishing is not too bad if you intend to play him at CDM. His passing stats are decent. 86 short passing looks very, very tasty. His dribbling stats are very nice. I mean, he has like the dribbling of a winger. In the midfield. So that's going to be a big, big attribute of his. His defending stats are very high. I mean, for the mid-tier range, 85 defending is very good. I mean, he has better defending than a lot of center backs on this game. 89 interceptions, 88 defensive awareness, 88 stand tackling. That looks to be massive. Um, His physical stats are no slouch. 79 strength, 90 aggression should mean that he should be kind of strong going into the challenges. And he has 94 stamina, which is going to be crazy because... That means he should last all game. He should never, ever need a sub. So, yeah, without further ado, we're going to bring you over to our review specialist, One Star Weak Foot. Take it away. Thanks, One Star. So, you guys at home might be wondering, why are you wearing a vacation shirt? And I'll tell you guys. After playing FIFA 20 Weekend League for the first time and sweating my absolute balls off, I need a vacation. But we're here to talk about Allen, guys. So, we're going to talk about Allen. Is he worth the 58,000 coins? I'm not sure, all right? We're going to break down the stats. I'll let you make the decision at the end of the video. So, 75 pace. How does it feel in-game? And I would say it feels adequate, all right? He definitely has enough pace, especially coming out of the skills. The 79 acceleration with a Catalyst Chem Style boost, making it maybe 84 acceleration, definitely, definitely comes into play. And he does accelerate quickly out of the skill moves. However... How does he feel tracking back? He feels very average, all right? He's not going to be burnt for pace when it comes to tracking back. But at the same time, he's not as quick as somebody like Goretzka or anything like that. So pace-wise, I got to give him a 7 out of 10. He's solid, but it's not necessarily a strength of his. Next thing we're going to talk about is his shot. Because when you see the record of this card um, that I did get in Rivals, he did score a bunch of goals. And you might be kind of surprised at that, but... He does find himself in good positions, all right? His attack positioning is very solid. And if you set him to balance or stay forward, he can make some threatening runs into the box. His actual shot is actually pretty solid as well. As long as you get it on his right foot and in a good position, he'll be able to bury the chance more times than not. Or either way, he'll be hitting it on target. So his shot itself, very solid. I wouldn't take any long shots. I wouldn't take any volleys. Those stats are just really, really bad. But for a CDM or maybe a box-to-box -box center mid, his shot is very, very good. Next, we're going to talk about his passing. How does it feel in-game? And I would say he definitely has some playmaking capabilities, all right? His vision is 80. His short passing is 86. And in-game, you definitely feel that. When it comes to linking up play in and around the box, in those delicate, tight areas where you need some finesse, 
He definitely has the finesse. He definitely has a little bit of juice when it comes to his passing. But when it comes to his long passing, when it comes to the double tap triangle through balls, he doesn't quite have the sauce when it comes to that, all right? His long passing is very average. It's, I mean, he is capable of making the long pass, the over-the-top through balls if, he, if the player does have space. However, he's not going to be putting in those killer through balls behind the defense. I mean, he's not De Bruyne, so you're not really expecting that of him. Either way, I would say his passing is solid. It's an 8 out of 10. He, he's very, very good at linking up play um, in close range. Far range leaves a little bit to be desired. Next, we're going to talk about dribbling. 84 dribbling on the CDM, on a box-to-box -box center mid. It is an asset. I mean, we're not going to kick beat around the bush or anything like that his dribbling is very solid agility wise he has 82 agility 86 balance he is able to turn a player in the midfield he is able to um tiki taka keep possession and he feels very responsive on the ball he does have a little bit of a stocky body i know he's only five foot nine but they made him kind of wide in game which helps him and hurts him and it kind of hurts him when it comes to turning defenders because he doesn't quite feel as responsive as a winger would because when you look at his dribbling right 84 dribbling you would think all right this guy's gonna be shifting 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 like a winger and he does have some nice dribbling but it's not quite the echelon that you would expect for 84 dribbling despite that his dribbling is very very good and as a center mid his his dribbling is actually excellent so overall at the center mid position or the center defensive mid position i'll give him an 8.5 out of 10 he definitely has enough dribbling to dribble out of trouble but i wouldn't try to dribble past two or three players with him because you're not gonna have a good time next we're gonna talk about his defending and I would say his defending was very, very solid, all right? Did it feel like 85 defending in-game? And I would say not quite, all right? I don't know exactly what it is about the card, but he was kind of lacking the impact that some of the other center defensive mids I've used on this game have, all right? When you compare him to Witzel, they go for just about the same price. They have a similar quality of links, but who do I prefer in game? Who makes a bigger impact in game? I would say Witzel. I think Allen just lacks a little bit of pace. He lacks a little bit of physicality. He's kind of in, in that in-between zone. So his defending isn't able to be used at his highest potential. I think with an inform or two, if his pace gets closer to 80, I think a lot of these problems will go away. However, when he's in position, his interceptions are very good. All right, It feels like there's a magnet. Um, when it comes to loose balls around him, he's able to jump on them quicker than his opponents more, more times than not. And his actual tackle is very clean. Where he does lack, like I said, is his physicality. So even though he does have a stocky body in game and he is able to outstrength most wingers or smaller agile players on this game, if you put him up against another midfielder that's bigger, if you put him up against a target man striker, he's going to fail when it comes to those 50-50 challenges. And that's a little bit disappointing, all right? Overall, though, his defending is solid. I have to give it an 8 out of 10. I thought it was going to be better, but it's still a solid attribute of this card. The next thing we're going to talk about is his physical. And like I said, he's not as strong as you would think. I mean, 90 aggression, 79 strength at 5'9". You would think he'd be biting at the challenges. And he is very decent physically, but that's about it. Um, his stamina, however, is excellent. He will never need a sub, ever, in his life. Unless you just want to sub him out. But as far as his stamina, it will not let him down. His jumping, we're not going to talk about because you're not bringing him in to be one of those players to win aerial duels. But needless to say, he's not that good in the air. Overall, I got to give his physical an 8 out of 10. And it's mostly because of his stamina. So overall, what would I say about his card? Um, I would say he's a very solid card, all right? He does have some good attributes, all right? His dribbling for a center mid is very good, all right? So if you like to play possession, if you like to dribble, if you like to use your center defensive mid to break up play and then push up and, and dribble and find a through ball down the wing, he's going to be able to do that. He's going to be able to do that very well just because of his dribbling, his decent passing, his decent break up play. However, if you want a center defensive mid destroyer, if you want a lone center defensive mid, I wouldn't necessarily use him. Um, I just don't think he's quick or physical enough to really cope with the meta of this game when it comes to that. However, I think he is a very, very good center mid. If you're playing a 4-1-2-1-2 and you need a center mid that can help out defensively from time to time, but at the same time is no slouch offensively, this guy is perfect for that. I would liken him very much to a slightly more defensive Wijnaldum, all right? He feels a lot like Wijnaldum in the sense that he could dribble, he could shoot, he could pass, and he does have some defensive capabilities. However, is he worth the 58k, I wouldn't say so, all right? He doesn't feel like a 58,000 coin player in game. I mean, in my opinion, Witzel, 
who goes for the same price, is a lot better of a center defensive mid. Even Ghana Gay, I think, represents a better value for money for this kind of player. So because of that, I don't think he's quite a value for money yet. But if he does drop to 20, 30, or even 35,000 coins, I think he's a must buy for that price. And he does have some good links. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's Brazilian. He does link into Mertens with a strong link. But like I said, I do think you have better options. I do think you have better value options at that price range. And that's why I say at this point in time, I can't really recommend buying him. So that's going to be my Allen review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow or later or whenever the case is with another video. But until then, later.